another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with quick hits. Um, we get into um, today's show. Ryan Garcia, Tank Davis, Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia. I guess Tank was the A side. Um, Pay per view gold. We're gonna get into the numbers and all that. We're gonna break it down, what it means and what's next. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on. Uh, all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, eight to ten minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right. Um, all right. Let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Um Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis do over 1.2 million pay-per-view buys. Uh, apparently, allegedly, they were hoping PBC and, and the powers that be were hoping for 450,000. And I, I thought that was going to be high. I, if you go back and you listen to my projection, I said about 300 to 400,000. Yeah, I was expecting it to come in about 330, 350. It's four times that. I, I'm shocked with this number. I, I could tell on boxing Twitter, um, it was going to do a big number. I could see that it was a live audience for it. Uh, I just thought in today's market, boxing, you know, in, in today's depressed economy with the streaming options that are available, there was just no way this num- this, this this could do anything like that. Um, but, you know, fight fans have been itching for a real 50-50 fight. And I didn't think this was a, a big fight. I, I, I didn't see this doing anything like that. There's been too many pay-per-views. You know, um, it's Canelo coming up. There's Haney Loma. There's so many. Like, you can't buy all of them. I, I wouldn't expect anything to do this kind of number. So I'm wrong. I'm 100% wrong. I am humbled, right? I wasn't even close in what I projected. Neither was PBC. Let's be honest. Um, there's a little debate over that number, if that's what Showtime reported or if that's across all platforms. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but we want to be factually correct. So w- when that gets ironed out, um, you know, we'll, we'll fill in. But 1.2 million is 1.2 million. It, it's a huge number. It's it's wildly successful. Tank is a pay per view star, but is Ryan the actual star? Because look, Tank has done other pay per views, a bunch of other pay per views, two hundred thousand, two hundred fifty thousand. As soon as you put him in with Rye. It does a million. So if Rye had to carry the pay-per-view, if it was Ryan, no, if it was Ryan versus Isak Cruz, if it was Ryan versus William Zapetta, if it was Ryan versus Ramirez, Jose Carlos Ramirez, if it was Ryan, you know, it doesn't matter, right? Ryan versus a B-side, B-side. Would that do better than what Tank did? I don't know. This number was so far above and beyond anything we could have thought. Like, you've got to give Ryan credit for that. Now, they're saying, is Tank the face of boxing? I guess so. I I guess so. Because this number is that big. Like, to do that in the area, in the the era, where you could just steal it and stream it, is incredible to me. Like, like I've said on MCR Podcast many, many times, the idea of paying $80 for a fight to anyone under the age of and I'm 39, so I'm almost 40. Anyone under the age of 30 is preposterous and ridiculous and absurd. Like they're not going to do it, but somehow this thing still in 1.2 million. So that's a great sign for the pay per view model. If you were trying to get away from the pay per view model, this is bad. <laughs> you know, they're going to continue to give you, you know, a pay per view a month. Um, you know, and, and most of them are going to do 150,000, 170,000. And then w- once in a while, something like this will pop. I didn't get this fight being a mega fight, like because I said you got Tank Davis, not a pound for pound guy. At that time, I know. And now we'll get into that. Tank Davis, not a pound for pound guy. People did not have him on this pound for pound top ten against a prospect whose best win was Luke Campbell. That's not a mega fight. It's not. Now it did mega fight numbers. Did huge numbers. Okay, it did huge numbers. 
So it, it has the, the effect of a mega fight without actually being a mega fight. Like I said, Loma and Haney is a better fight. That fights for all the belts. Hank, uh, Tank, Tank and Rhino for no belts. At a catch weight. I mean, it's just, just nothing great about that fight. Two non-champions, one's never beaten a real champion, and Tank Davis do 1.2 million. That's great. That's great for the name. It's great. It, it's great to put all those eyes on boxing. It's good. It's still not a mega fight. <laughs> I know it's it, in 2023. It, it's the closest. It's one of the closest things we're going to get. Right? We're not going to get Tank versus Shakur. We're not going to get that. We're not going to get Usyk and uh, Fury. We're not going to get Joshua and Wilder. Which isn't even a super fight anymore, but it would have, you know, it would have the same kind of super fight effect. It would be a huge fight. We're not going to get Crawford Spence. We're not going to get any of these fights. So this is what we have to settle for. And 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 the boxing world and the, and the sports world responded. Said, okay, if this is the best you're going to give me, I'll take it. And it is what it is. It's a decision, you know. Um, is there anything else on the calendar upcoming? I, I get, in a way, and and Cool Boy Steph is a great fight, great fight. But it's not, it's a fight for the hardcores, right? Like the casual fan in the in the, like that fight, he's not into that. And I, I guess I pose this question: If you were a casual fan, does Tank versus Ryan make you want to pay for another fight? Does it make you want to tune into boxing? Or are you more likely to tune into a fight after that? Was that a good experience? Like for me, I said Holyfield Bow One was a drug to me. That hooked me into boxing like so much. Um, and I just love the sport after that. Tank Ryan, is it gonna create new fans? Are people more likely to watch boxing after that fight? I don't know the answer to that. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Quick hits come up to you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the greatest and latest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is April 26, 2023. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.